To provide a variety and quantity of housing options that residents need, Clark County is taking steps to identify housing challenges and opportunities. The portion of the county currently under consideration is within the unincorporated Vancouver Urban Growth Area. This is an area with urban services and predominantly single-family homes. We know that housing costs have been rising and are continuing to rise. And in 2018, the County Council made some amendments to the county's development code to allow more flexibility to develop ADUs and tiny homes and cottage housing. And we wanted to continue that effort to look at ways we could provide even more housing at different costs for a variety of household incomes. The Housing Options Study and Action Plan Policy Advisory Group began meeting in January. This county council appointed 18-member group was chosen for a broad range of perspectives. They have been put to task to develop recommendations on how best to create housing options and housing diversity. The housing options uh, study and the, the project advisory group has been a positive experience so far. Staff have done a really good job of presenting the research. The group is pretty evenly split. There's low-income housing advocates, there's market rate developers, there's neighborhood folks, there are people that are involved in human services. I appreciate their focus on the missing middle, uh, which often is one of the greatest challenges discussed here in Clark County because we see there are many multifamily units that people can access in kind of large apartment complexes. And then there's also many single family homes, but there are very few options in between. The advisor group has finished their research phase. Next up, we'll be discussing possible policy proposals. The initial phase was to understand our housing issues and challenges where we did housing data research and analysis as well as reviewing our housing uh, policies and development code and zoning to see what barriers there may be and opportunities for change. All advisory group meetings are online and open to the public. On May 11, there was a special presentation to the public to summarize the work so far as well as take questions and comments. Solutions to the county's affordable housing challenges will most likely be multifaceted. Our interest is many different types of housing, duplexes, triplexes, uh, smaller homes uh, that might often be called cottage homes or tiny homes, uh, ADUs, particularly you know, nonprofit affordable housing providers are able to build units in locations that are desirable for people who are low income. You've got a group of people who are very desperate for housing, they can't afford it. That's a critical issue. But part of what's feeding that issue is just this overall lack of supply. Folks who are ready to make the jump from being renters to owners, they can't make the jump because prices are too high, because supply is low. That keeps occupancy rates high, keeps demand high for those units. The goal is to have final recommendations ready for the county's legislative process by winter. For more information on the Clark County Housing Options Study and Action Plan, visit the county's website at clark.wa.gov slash housing options.